Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know. Always see all the Euro observers issue statement on elections in Macedonia. As in the first round of voting, the second round of municipal elections in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia was highly competitive and well administered, but partisan media coverage and a blurring of state and party activities led again to the lack of level playing field. International observers from the OSC Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights, ODIR, concluded in a statement. The second election day was calm overall, and procedures were largely followed, although instances of group voting persisted, said Ambassador Gerd Heinrich Ahrens, the head of the OSC ODIR election observation mission in Macedonia. He also highlighted that there remains a need for continued electoral reform. The electoral legal framework lacks details on key issues in second rounds of municipal elections, leaving room for continued reform, the statement said. The State Election Commission continued to work transparently and met electoral deadlines, but collegiality deteriorated during the review of complaints, with decisions largely based on party affiliation, the ambassador emphasized. <laughs> Defense Minister Jaferi meets predecessors. Defense Minister Talat Jaferi had his first meeting with former Defense Ministers Fatim Bresimi, Vlado Popovski, Vlado Buchkovski and Trajan Godzevski. This meeting for me as a minister is very important, because we had the opportunity to exchange experiences on the functioning of the ministry and at the same time we had the opportunity to hear the necessary and important views on how the Ministry of Defense should work in context of system structure, Jaferi said. Moreover, at the meeting, the minister informed his predecessors about the processes of reform and development in the ministry and the Army of the Republic of Macedonia. European Parliament adopts Rapporteur's Hovitz Compromise Amendments on Macedonia. The European Parliament's Committee on Foreign Affairs adopted the Compromise Amendments to the Resolution on Macedonia proposed by EP Rapporteur on Macedonia, Richard Hovit. A first amendment expresses regret that the European Council has not observed the four recommendations for start of accession negotiations issued by the European Commission and calls upon the Council to intensify diplomatic relations and start the screening process as soon as possible. The amendments underscore the crucial role of the good neighborly relations and calls upon the relevant parties to avoid gestures, statements and activities that might impede the neighborly relations. EU Commissioner Füle is requested to pay special attention on the good neighborly relations issue. Johan Tachulowski released early by Hague Court. The International Criminal Tribunal for the Former Yugoslavia announced on Monday that Johan Tuchulovsky will be released early after serving eight years of his 12-year sentence. Last month, after completing two-thirds of his sentence, he had become formally eligible for early release. Taking this into account, I consider that Tuchulovsky should be released now, the president of the court, Theodore Meron, said. It is not yet clear exactly when he will be released from custody. It is not yet clear exactly when he will be released from custody. Tarchulovsky confirmed he had been released on his Facebook profile. EC to comment on elections after announcement of official results. The general rule of the European Commission is to comment on the elections in the partner countries only after the official results have been announced and after the comments and assessments of the OSC ODIR and it was not done in this case of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. So after we have the report and assessment of the OSC ODIR, we will have a reaction, said Peter Stano, the spokesperson for EU Enlargement Commissioner Stefan Füle. Stano also confirmed that Füle will visit Skopje on Tuesday within the frameworks of the fourth round of the high-level accession dialogue.